So here I am inside of the calendar view inside of a click up area list. And you can see here that I have video production as a thing on my list. And I'm gonna show you in today's video how to go about calendar blocking inside a click up, how and how I guess best practices on using it. So you can see it in front of me here and let's get started. So what I can do is, you see this sort of dark gray bar that hovers over stuff? Well, you can essentially click in and create a task from here. You can also use a command slash two to really add some more depth to the task title and things like that. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I even get to this view? Well, as long as you have the calendar view activated in your ClickUp, I'm actually pinned it up here. But as long as you have that view activated and you go up to here and go to four day view. Four day view is great because you can see four days in advance, not a full week, because for example, you might not want to be able to see the weekends. However, it's really helpful to just be able to see just four days in advance in, in terms of everything that's planned. So let's say I wanted to block out Wednesday, the 24th of August. So I can go ahead and type film YouTube or something like this. I can do a few quick things like custom fields and I can choose the custom fields that are in the set, uh, already set up inside of this video production area, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna set the priority as urgent and the time allocated to it of 90 minutes. Now you can see that once I press save, oh, I need to make sure to assign it to somebody. If I press save, it's popped up here and you can see that it's time blocked. Now I can go into this and add even more detail if I wanted to. I can add subtasks, time tracked and everything like that. But what I'm gonna do is gonna right click and I can change some of the settings here like dependencies, The I can even convert it to an actual project or a list itself and that's all very helpful. Now the great thing about calendar blocking technique is you can be able to see anything that's been unscheduled or overdue over here, which means you can drag them in, which is perfect for making sure that you're collecting the right sort of items as you go. Now, for example, if I go back to list view and I change this from review into review, you can see that because I've changed the status group for this, it will essentially, if I go over to that date in the future, you can see that the color has changed. So this is set at that this status groups change the color and setup. Now over in the right hand corner, you can change that by going color tasks by status. And you can even add all of the more granular stuff you'd expect to see inside of a calendar application. Now down the bottom here, you can actually sync it with your calendar. In this case, I actually have with Google Calendar. So as you can imagine, very helpful for being able to sort stuff out. I can remove weekends here in which well, one of my problems was earlier, just to make the four day view even more advanced and this will pop straight to Monday. So folks, hopefully you found this calendar blocking easy enough to get started. Let me know if you have any questions and uh, we'll dive into them in the next video. Thank you very much folks and I'll see you all very soon. Cheerio.